Hi YouTube, I wanted to share another video with you. Uh, this time this video is going to be about my Beretta 92FS made in Italy. And uh, <clears throat> before we proceed I'm going to make sure the pistol is clear. Okay, nothing in the magazine, nothing in the chamber. Gun is clear, okay. We'll move the magazine aside because we're not going to need it. Um, so let me tell you about um, the reason for this video. Basically, I know that some of the parts on this pistol are plastic and I know that uh, there are reasons for that. Uh, I just personally prefer um, to have as little plastic as possible on this pistol. So I went to Beretta.com and uh, found this kit. You can see that it's black steel parts kit and it's an official Beretta kit. And you can see the number for the kit right here. It's E00706. You can see that it's made in Italy. Um, right here. It says made in Italy. My gun is also made in Italy, so just perfect match. Anyway, what you get in the kit is the following. You get a steel guide rod. You get uh, safety levers mag release made of steel and trigger made of steel so that's everything you get um, in this kit I can't remember how much this kit was but uh, I figured that it was worth it simply because it's a Beretta brand uh, parts kit and uh, that's what I want to install on my Beretta so we can just disassemble this pistol real quick you should know how to do this already if you have this pistol um, this video is not on the disassembly so <clears throat> first and foremost the simplest replacement is right here plastic part goes away take out the barrel simply because it's going to be in the way we'll move these parts aside and in order to replace the safety levers, which I actually believe are steel on my pistol, uh, they feel like steel, they sound like steel. I don't even know if I should replace them, so I probably will not. But I'll tell you how to replace them uh, if you are replacing yours. What you're going to want to do, even though it's not necessary, the, it, it'll make your job a lot easier is to take out this firing pin block. This prevents the firing pin from going forward. When it's depressed, the firing pin will be allowed to move forward. Um, if you don't remove this block, it'll be a lot, a lot more difficult for you to move this um, little pin or plunger in so that you can rotate the safety lever up and line up um, on this side uh, where it can basically just come out so in order for that to happen you actually need to rotate it higher than it currently goes and if this if this block is in there uh, it's going to be kind of difficult you're going to have to be pressing on this while you're pressing on this little plunger and turning the safety lever just a little bit higher to make it line up here so i recommend removing this pin dr drifting this pin out uh, then removing the block it'll come out this way um, once you take out the block you can then push in on this push in on this little plunger and turn the safety lever up just slightly it'll probably go from here to maybe like that that's as high as it as it'll go and at that point you'll see that this surface right here will line up with this angle and the whole safety lever is going to be able to come out. <clears throat> anyway, uh, what you're going to want to do is first place it in this position, turn it upside down, you see these two pins, right? And you're going to want to go from here, from this side, let me zoom you in a little bit. Okay, so those same pins are right here one right there and one right there these are the pins that you're gonna want to drift out that one and that one 
So you'll drift them out from inside out. This side of the safety is simply going to slide out. Make sure that you don't just start moving the safety out right away. You remember you're going to need to depress this little plunger right here turn it up a little bit and start sliding it very slowly because there is a plunger that you can see in here that plunger and the spring is positioned this way they're, they're gonna want to come out right away so move it out very slowly and make sure that you catch that plunger then on this side there's another plunger in this side of the safety and you want to make sure that you catch that plunger too and then just take it all out that's how you replace that. I'm not going to do it because it, these are steel parts. I don't need to replace steel for steel anyway. So <clears throat> what I do need to replace is the trigger and the uh, mag release. And in order for me to do that, I'm going to need to take out, take off the grips. Um, you'll see that I need to remove this bar, the trigger bar, and also I need to remove the slide stop simply because you should be able to see uh, that there is a little spring that retains this trigger pin. So in order for me to take uh, this trigger pin out, which needs to come out towards me right now, um, I need to remove this uh, slide stop. So I'll start with that, I'll lift it up, move it out slightly so that it clears the frame, allow it to move past the frame, and then lift it out. And you can see that spring right there. So that is now removed, which means that the pin um, can now come out. But I also need to remove... Um, this bar, the trigger bar. And as far as I know, the only thing that's keeping it in place here in the back is this spring, which I just pulled out. And kind of lift it out. And you'll notice that one leg of the uh, trigger spring is sitting on it on this bar so when we reinstall it we need to make sure that that leg goes over it so now the trigger bar is out and we can take out this pin okay here comes the trigger and its spring just like that now we're going to take our new trigger, we'll reinstall the spring into the new trigger, lower it in place, while making sure that the spring ends up kind of where we want it. Make sure that it seats properly. like that. We want to depress it so that we can catch it with, uh, okay, I just accidentally moved it, moved it out of its place because I'm using a magnetized punch. Um, okay, maybe we can use the, a different tool for that. Okay, so now the spring is in place, trigger is in, and uh, once we replace the bar, the trigger bar, um, we'll put some tension on that spring. So let's replace this bar. 
needs to go into the trigger. We'll make sure that it doesn't go all the way in so that we can actually take that spring leg kind of halfway. Okay, now I got it. So now the trigger bar can be replaced. We're going to move it forward, make sure it's seated. <clears throat> we can see that there's tension on the trigger. And now we need to replace the spring for the trigger bar. So you'll see that there is a little hole right here that we'll place the spring into. Then we'll allow it to seat first in the frame and then in the bar. And you can see how they're seated right here. You can see that the spring goes into the frame right here in the hole right here in the little recess here and then there's a little recess in the bar right here all right now the only thing remaining is uh, for us to put back the slide stop we'll start with the spring and make sure that we block that little pin right away like so the spring should sit in in this little channel right here so when we do place this back what we want to do is place the spring right away back into the channel grab it then move the slide stop back and place it all the way in just like so now it's got tension, that pin is blocked, which is good, so everything is back the way it's supposed to be. Okay, you simply press down uh, towards the opposite side of where you normally press to release the mag, and that's how you remove it. Now we're going to place it back here on this side line it up so now it's in you simply want to put pressure from the inside here um, when you line it up so now it's in there and it seems to be working so we install our grips and that'll be it The grips are in, mag release works. Let's put the barrel back in. Okay, there we go. The barrel is in. Put the guide rod in. The guide rod is in. everything back to where it's supposed to be. Close the lever. The pistol is now reassembled. The cocker works. All right, 